Welcome to Counterts. Here I'm quickly going to show you how you can make an online booking with SaaS. So if you need to make a booking for whatever reason, here's how you go about doing that. It's quite easy to do this. Now the first way you can do it is to log into your e-filing and then do it from there or just do it from the SaaS website. So I'm just quickly going to show you both ways, but they are quite the same. So it's just where you do it from. So let's see how you do it from your e-filing profile. So you will obviously put in your username and password and then you log in and then once you're logged in you'll see these items over here and you can see what each one is for and you can see the second one over here is online booking so once you click on that it will take you to this page and then when you scroll down you'll see how it says click here to book an appointment at the SaaS branch so you'll click there and then you can put in all the details obviously if you're an individual or if you're booking as an individual you select individual if you're booking as a company or a trust or entity representative you'll click there and if you're a tax practitioner you will click here so if you're an individual just click individual and then here you will click on make a new appointment all right and then you'll fill in the details here and i'll show you what you need to fill in but let's go and see how you do it via the SaaS website so you'll visit sars.gov.za then once you're there you'll just scroll down and you'll see here where it says book an appointment on the left hand side and you click on that one and then it will take you to a page similar to what we just saw from the e-filing profile and if you're booking as an individual you'll select individual as i mentioned and then you'll select make a new appointment obviously if you're canceling an appointment you'll select with this one over here once you've done that you will start putting in your details here so the taxpayer name so you'll enter the name there the taxpayer surname and remember you have to enter this correctly as per sas records so you'll put that over there taxpayer reference number this is your income tax reference number and that's what you will put there then you will put the taxpayer id number if you're using an id then you'll put your id number there if you're using a passport you'll have to put your passport number down here and you will just leave the id number portion blank so i've just put in my id number once you've put in the id number then you don't need to put any of these passport details this is just for those who are not using an id and then you put in your email address so you put your email address over there and then you put in your mobile number and your contact number so you can repeat the exact same number or put an alternative number once you've done that you just scroll down and you'll see here what appointment channel you'd like to use so you will find that if you select some of these uh except for telephonic engagement that is uh the one which is always available but sometimes if you select pop-up branch or mobile text unit it might say that it's not available so let's select telephonic engagement that's the easiest one and then reason category why are you booking an appointment what do you need to do if you want to uh, change your banking details or update whatever the case may be or you'd like to submit your tax return or your income tax return or your provisional tax using the appointment then you can select that one there so i'm going to select other and then reason for appointment here's where i have more options so let's say i would like to register the company for vet for instance i'll select that one and then i'll select my province so it's Gauteng. and then the branch you can select any branch since the telephonic engagement but obviously i select where i am situated so i'll select benoni and then i'll check for appointment and then it's going to tell me when the appointment is available or which appointments are available and you can see here i'm doing it in january 2022 and there is none available so i'll have to select the following month and you can see the earliest date is third of February so I'll select that one and then I'll have to select the time here so I'll select the earliest time here which is half past nine and once I've done that all I need to do is to put the security code and then once I've put the correct one it should go through if it doesn't go through then you might have not put the details as per the SARS records or as per your e-filing profile so you need to check that and if you really can't then there are other ways you can do so you can do so via the SMS you'll check you'll see that on the SARS website or you can do so by calling the uh, SARS telephone number okay once I've done that I validate and then I confirm appointment now once you confirm the appointment you can see what appears here on the screen thank you for submitting your request for an appointment at SARS Benoni on our online booking system on the basis of the information provided SARS hereby confirms your appointment and you are given here the date and the time for the appointment and you are told that your booking case reference number is 413219 
242. Now you will also receive an email from SARS confirming this appointment and you'll also see your case number there. So you need to note down your case number because this is what you'll use to upload supporting documentation. If you don't upload supporting documentation by the appointment time, then they're likely to cancel your appointment. But usually depending on who's going to be handling your case, they may call you an hour earlier or so and say, hey, you haven't uploaded any documentation. Please do so before the appointment time at half past nine in this case. But some will not call you, they'll just call you at the appointment time and they will tell you you didn't upload any documentation, you need to rebook the appointment again. So you'll take this case number and go and upload supporting documentation. Now, how do you do that? Well, you'll find the link to that video where I show how to upload supporting documentation in the description below. I hope it has made sense. I hope it's been helpful. If it has been helpful, subscribe to our channel and like this video. Till next time. Cheers.